Hello comrades, welcome back to Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. My name of course is Zobra Potato. In the last episode, we successfully managed to get a gravel processing plant up and running. Uh, there were some issues, <coughs> excuse me, this uh, massive road up here with no power or vehicles or anything actually at the moment. Um, so honestly, I think that this is the first order of the day. The quality of the source is much, much higher over here. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy ourselves a lovely uh, excavation piece of equipment. And then we're going to try and power up a whole bunch of buildings around the place. And we're also going to buy uh, another truck to help deliver things. Uh, we need to get workers up here, which is probably a little bit of an issue given the fact that the bus platform is very very far away from very very far away from uh from the the brand new excavation area but that's not a problem that's not a problem we're going to try and fix that we're going to try and fix that uh there's a couple of things that we need to do before uh, before this area can be fully up and running but it's all required in order to make sure it worked perfectly. Uh, first things first, we need to make sure that all of our citizens are going to the right places. Some of them are unable to visit a pub slash tavern. Now, the pub, which is here, right in the center, uh, there's one member of bar staff. But unfortunately, I think that we need to get more members of bar staff. So let's increase, let's just add... Uh, Let's just add it as a building that citizens should go to, which is nice. Uh, so that means that workers should migrate to this area, which is uh, which is exactly what we want to see. Uh, in the meantime, though, the truck should be getting filled. Is that happening? This seems to be going well. This does seem to be going. This does seem to be going well. I mean, we don't have many workers in this area, and for that reason, I think that we need to try and get more buildings so that we can have more workers. I'm fairly certain that we can... Current production per work, work day is 1.7... is 1.75 tons, uh, which is... which is okay, I guess. Uh, it could be a heck of a lot more, and it does need to be a heck of a lot more, actually. But at the moment, it's nowhere... it's nowhere close to where it needs to be. We need to get more workers. Okay, let's let's have a little bit of a, an expansion of the uh, of the housing area. You're not able to participate in any sport. Missing staff. Ah, oh, this is a this is going to be a problem. Okay, well we're gonna ho we're gonna hopefully solve two birds with one stone here because at the moment I've got certain houses uh, allocated to certain areas, i.e. the the bus platform which ships them up to the gravel processing plant up at the top corner. And then we've also got the school. Now there are not enough there are not enough staff to fill all of the roles. Hence we're seeing problems with the the football playground. Hence we're seeing problems with uh, staffing the pub. Uh, all of that nonsense is 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 impacting us. So we need to try and we need to try and fix that. Okay, so let's go and get some more let's go and get some more houses because if we don't, then we're going to be we're going to be in some real problems. Do we want to change up the type of flats? I feel that maybe we want to get something different. You know. Maybe a big one, like a real big flat. That seems pretty darn big. Maybe two or three of those. I'm kind of... I'm kind of interested, to be honest. Let's do something like... Yeah, you know what? Something like, something like that. I think that's probably the best case scenario here. Let's do you there. And then another one right about here. In fact, I should probably place the road first. I've learned my lesson. Roads need to come before before the buildings. Otherwise, there are issues. Yeah, see? I'm learning. I'm learning. Not just a pretty face, folks. All right, let's build that out there. And then let's go back to placing some houses. Problem is, is that I can never really remember which which house I've uh, decided to place down. Although I do think it is this one. I think it's this one. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Mm, smidge you along a little bit. There we go. Okay, so all of these all of these houses should be should be within um, 
within range of electricity, which is kind of nice. We'll bring the asphalt road around here. Sure. There we go. Keeping it real. And then let's get some, let's get some paths so that we can connect everything up. Oh, you don't like that, do you? There we go. That's fine. Beautiful. And that to there. Perfect. Oh, that's not a... That's not an idea to entertain. Well, I did think that we could do some more paths, but apparently not. Alright, so... Theoretically, this is going to allow many, many more people to enter the workforce, which is great. Means that we should have a whole bunch of people working in the shops now. Beautiful. A whole bunch of people working as bar staff. Great. There's going to be a whole bunch of students in the classrooms. This is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. We want people flooding out of these, uh, flooding out of these homes. Okay, uh, why is there access issues here? There should not be access issues. That's only a couple of buildings that can be reached on foot. That's a bit of a bummer. So you can... This building can access a lot of buildings on foot, but the other one cannot. Alright, that seems to be a problem that we might be able to rectify. Um, yeah, something like that maybe. Will that fix the, the issue anywhat, uh, somewhat? Hmm. I'm not loving that, to be honest. I'm not loving that look. No. Okay. Has that extended... Nope, not you. Has that extended the uh, the walking routes? No, it hasn't. Right. Well, this is problematic. I was expecting that these houses would definitely be able to access the same sort of facilities that that these houses are accessing, because both of these houses can access all of the stuff that matters. But the ones at the back cannot. How very, very peculiar. Alright, well, let's fiddle around with this until we, uh, until we get something that works well enough, I guess. Um, demolish that. Demolish that, demolish that, since the path doesn't really work for us anyway. If we come around the back, would that be... Would that be a possibility? There we go. How does that work? Alright. That looks like it has indeed worked. Alright, the kindergarten is still a bit out of reach, which is annoying in the extreme. But, here's my plan, right? Here's my plan. If I can build a footpath around that side... And I can build a footpath around this side. Which will hopefully allow me to do something very similar. Alright. You up here. Here we go. Lots and lots of footpaths. Footpaths are honestly the name of this game. It's the best part of this game. I love I love footpath building. There we go. There we go. Alright. How's that? That looks, that looks like it's done an absolute treat, to be honest. Still a bit of an issue, though, isn't it? Still a bit of an issue. Yeah. Alright, I have a radical solution, which is exactly what we need in a communist country. Right, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of all of this path. Nonsense. Path is nonsense. Path is the way of the past. And let's instead put in a big spanking new road. And the reason that I say let's stick in a big spanking new road is because I know that, uh, that with these, the, on these roads with streetlights, of which this is one of them, uh, we are able to have people walking up and down the side, which is exactly what we're after. Right, so now there should be no issues, right? I think everyone should be able to access everything. No? Alright, well that's... That's very annoying. That, let me just tell you, that is very, very annoying. In fact, it's so annoying that I'm thinking that I might demolish these two houses. It is better, though. It is better. 
Right, I clearly need to get into the habit of just doing, like, a big, a big housing estate, and then having the facilities, like, either on the periphery or at the very center. That might be an idea, actually. We have a center. We have a center of the neighborhood, and then we build the houses around it. All right, well, this is, this is the situation that we've got going right now. I'm not going to worry about things too much, but some citizens are going to be without, uh, without services for a while. Okay, current production uh, per workday, 3.17 tons of quarried stone, which is wonderful. I mean, we're not not doing very much, uh, even with 40 workers, which is pretty diabolically low, to be honest. Slowly but surely, we're increasing the, <laughs> increasing the, the stone that's to be transported, so at least we're making some progress. Yeah, there's, there's not really much to to be done, to be done there, unfortunately. What about working up here? Yeah, there's no workers up there. That's to be, that's to be anticipated, to be honest. But at least we've sort of fixed the issues over here, so we're not having any staffing shortages at the bar, we're not having staffing shortages at the kindergarten, not having started staffing shortages at the school. In fact, the school is overflowing, in fact, which is kind of unbelievable. Okay, so that's looking good. That's a pretty big step up. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. What I also think that we need to start thinking about is making money. Because at the moment we've just drained money. We've drained about 700,000 uh, rubles, which is fine. You know, it's not a big deal whatsoever. However, we are going to be dealing with industry. And we do want to try and make sure that we can sell some of this stuff in order to, in order to make money. So you guys are going to come down to work, which is going to be great. Does anyone need to work at the storage yard? I don't think so. Yeah. Now, I thought the amount of stone quarried increased with the number of workers that we have. Indeed, it does. But unfortunately, I don't think that that's a very efficient... I don't think it's a very efficient uh, increase because the quality of the source is so poor. So I'm thinking that we're wasting almost all of our time. So... In order to rectify this, let's get a brand new bus. I say a brand new bus. It's gonna be... I mean, it's gonna be a terrible bus. I mean, we've already got one of the, the ZIS-155. Sure, let's get the ZIS-155. That's... It's, a, it's an old dependable work workhorse, I guess. Uh, let's get the... That to go up there, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way up here. Stop adding a stop. Go infrastructure, not infrastructure. And then we want... Ignore me as I go back to infrastructure, looking for this bus stop. Bus platform, yep. Bus platform small. Honestly, I think a bus platform small is exactly what we need. Need flat terrain? I mean, how much flatter do you want? We flatten... We get flat enough here? Really? You're gonna make me work for it? I hate it when you make me work for it. Alright, okay, let's just level off the terrain first, I guess, then. Alright, there we go. Problem is, is that we're probably gonna be able to place it. However, is the is the road going to be able to connect? That's the real question. Yeah, well, we've placed it there. So now watch the roads not connect. Yeah, so... This is going to be a problem, because we need to get a bus stop up, up here. But there is, as far as I can see, almost no way to get a bus stop, a bus stop planted up here without doing some serious re-sculpting of the land. Maybe I'm just missing an optimum slot? You need flat terrain? I mean, I feel like we're so close to getting this terrain to where it needs to be. And we can make it flat. It just requires money. 
And a lot of it at that. Nope. Alright, come on. Let's get this all flat. Let's get it all flat. Flat with the road, please. That'd be great. Right. Infrastructure. Why do you not want to do this? Why do you not want to do this, game? I'm trying to work with you here. I'm really trying to work with you. No, you just don't want to do it, do you? You just don't want to do it. All right. Well, I mean, this presents this presents a reoccurring problem. We've decided to go for uh, something in the quarry business, and that means that we need to have we need to have access to a pretty extreme region. Actually, I say extreme, kind of ironically, but also like unironically. Uh, we just need. Hold on, you'll do. Okay. Do a small bus bus platform up here. Oh. Yeah, beauty. Yeah, beauty. We found we found the sweet spot. We found the sweet spot, folks. We did it. All right. Um, yeah. Actually, we don't even need we don't even need that. We just need. No. What? No. You. Video game. You promised me. You promised me. You promised me. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Okay, you'll do that, but you won't do the other way. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get that bus back up and running again, eh? That's the one. All right, up here, perfect. And then just get that launched. Beautiful. So I'm gonna make the bold assumption that you can reach the quarry over there. Yeah, perfect. I actually do want to get access for another quarry, like we can do more quarries up here, but that's obviously not something that we can do at the moment, so that's fine. Uh, we need to get another vehicle. What vehicle have we currently got doing the... that thing? The T-138 dumper. Right, well let's get another another T-138 dumper. Right, and you... There we go. I want you to go between here, load 100% of anything, and then go there. Perfect. And start your little route. Beautiful. I, I don't believe that we actually need to have a, a power connection to this building. I don't believe it needs power. That might be a factual inaccuracy right there, but I'm going to base my opinion on that. Man, you know what? This is a bustling little town. I mean, we've got absolutely zero way of making any money at the moment, but it's bustling. Let me tell you, it is absolutely bustling. Yeah, it's looking really, really good. I feel that this road should be upgraded. I don't feel like it's currently very, uh, very good at all. You know what? We are making gravel. We're just not making tons of it. Not making tons of it at all. Okay, so I want to run a test here. Do we automatically build from our local reserves of gravel? Gravel road only requires gravel. Uh, let's build... Let's build a road, like, round here. We need to connect up the aggregate storage anyway. There we go. Doesn't look like we draw from... Doesn't look like we draw from our local reserves, which is a bit of a bummer, I must hasten to add, but it is fine. Um, is there any way to amend that? Great question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's any way to amend that. I guess I'm just going to have to wait and see. Yeah, see, we can see our gravel. We can see where it's located. The gravel processing plant... A little bit of gravel at the gravel processing plant. Hold on a minute. Are you not exporting because you don't have power? Why are you not exporting to here? Aggregate storage export. No resources missing quarried stone. You should be exporting here. You should be exporting gravel. It might be because the conveyor belt isn't working because the building is without a power supply. 
Which, let me tell you, is just annoying if that's the case, but I can amend that. Okay, we can't do from there. Can we do from... I don't really want to do another wire out here. Uh, what is it that we're looking for? Is it a medium voltage switch? No, not a power transformer. Okay, alright. That seems pretty good. I'll take that right there, please. Here we go. All we need to do is make sure that we feed in some... some wires now. Angle of connection is too sharp. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Right, now are you going to connect up to this existing wire infrastructure that we've got over here? I didn't think so. Right, we're gonna have to get a brand new connection up to that uh, to that area over there. Fine. So we should now have we should now have uh, electricity here. Yeah, well, you're missing quarried stone, but you're ready to export uh, eleven tons of uh, eleven tons of this, which is fine. Eleven tons of gravel. All right. Part of me doesn't understand why you're not transferring more gravel from the gravel processing plant to the aggregate storage. But, you know, why let a little detail like this slow us down, right? Why on earth? Why on earth? Right, you got 12 tons. I feel... Honestly, we should maybe get a duplicate vehicle. Is there even an ability for us to duplicate a vehicle? I, I don't even know. Alright. Two more dumpers. Right, let's get them set up on the same route between here and there. Dispatch. And then you, you need a route between here and here. And then start. Okay, so we've added a couple more dumpers to the route, which theoretically means that we shouldn't have any downtime. This, uh, this quarry is pretty garbage, actually, when it comes to what it's able to do. But it's something that we're going to have to deal with. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we don't, uh, don't have uh, the ability to have a conveyor link in here. We've just literally got a... <laughs> we've literally just got a quarry. Yeah. Alright, well, that, that's, that's, that is what it is, right? But we've got two new dumper trucks incoming. Which should mean that we'll always have a dumper truck ready, ready to go into action over here. Which is great. We've got a huge number of workers, which is lovely. Okay, so now that we've got uh, now that we've got gravel, not consistently coming in, but like fairly consistently coming in, which is kind of nice. Also, it some of the stuff seems to be transferring to the aggregate storage, but other stuff doesn't. There's still 11 tons in here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not interested in, in your gravel anymore. I'm only interested in the aggregate storage gravel. What I am also interested in doing is getting another building over here that can... Ah, look. See, there's a little bit of gravel transfer. Uh, what I'm interested in, in getting uh, is, uh, is, a little, is a little building here that we can actually use the, the, the gravel in. So, what building can we actually use gravel in? Uh, it's probably not going to be in agriculture, to be honest. It might be, but probably not. Gravel, coal, and iron. So we've got a gravel processing plant. We've already got that. We've already got a gravel quarry. Don't need an iron mine. Don't need a coal mine. Don't need a coal processing plant. We've already got an aggregate storage. Uh, truck aggregate unloading. I mean, that might be something to do. I mean, that this is this is another thing that we could actually do. Theoretically, we put we could put a truck aggregate, sorry, a, a, a truck aggregate unloading here, so that we could ship stuff all the way across the map in conveyors. I don't know how 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 long conveyor belts can go for, but probably not that long. All right, so this seems to be pretty seems to be going pretty darn well. We seem to be filling up uh, filling up stone relatively fast. Look at this: current production per workday is 10, uh, 10 tons of quarried stone. That's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, and with three trucks, we shouldn't have any supply issues. We should have continual flow of resources to the uh, gravel processing plant, which is wonderful. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty darn good actually. That is pretty darn good. Okay, um, I'm still looking for a building. I'm still looking for a building that can take advantage of our 37 tons of gravel. That is very very true, potato. We need to focus. We need to focus back in on that. Ooh, wood industry, wood cutting plant, and a sawmill. I'm interested in both of those things actually. Clothing factory, not interested in that. Mechanical components factory, no, afraid not. Electrical components, no. That's a bit too high tech for us. I'm looking more for something that can take advantage of our gravel. Consumption at maximum production, cement plant. I think cement plant is uh, is what we're after. We do need coal and gravel. We need coal and gravel, but I think that that is doable. Asphalt, we need bitumen and gravel. Brick factory, we need coal. Steel mill, we need coal and iron. All right, let's build a... Let's build a cement plant. Let's build a cement plant. This is going to be a big... Big investment, really, of resources. Uh, and it's going to be in a really annoying place as well. I can just feel it. Right. Let's do that. This is a big one. This is a big one for us. That's a very, very substantial purchase. But it's definitely going to be worth it. Do you know what that means, actually? If we get a cement plant, it means that we do unbelievably need to get coal. We need to find coal. And in order to find coal... Well... We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to look around. We're gonna need to hunt, but that's okay. That's okay. We can definitely deal with that. All right, things are going well over here. I just like to keep on checking. Maybe three dump trucks isn't even enough. Current production per workday is five tons. That's without any workers. I don't understand how that works. But hey ho. And for some reason, we can only get one mechanism fine with me i guess where's the where's the truck the truck's on the the way back up hold on a minute why do you still have 1.9 tons of quarried stone you very much should not have that unload 100 percent of everything yes and don't load anything why are you coming back up with quarried stone? You traitor. Alright, we need to keep an eye. We need to keep an eye on these pesky trucks, because they're they're gonna get ahead of themselves. Okay, so the cement plant is about halfway completed uh, at this point. It's taken it's taken a long time, and it's also cost us two hundred thousand rubles. Which is a little bit crazy actually, but it is what it is. Dumper truck's doing well. I'm just kinda trying to keep a little handle on what's going on here just so that I can make sure I know 10 tons 10 tons daily I mean that's it's a little bit less than what I was kind of hoping for to be honest but whatever it's still kind of stupid that you've got your you've got 1.9 tons there all right let's keep a little eye on this truck as he gets into the gravel processing plant because if he doesn't unload fully then we know we got a problem Right, gravel processing plant, quarry, yeah, fine. Okay, you're going to turn up here, perfect. You're going to unload each and every last drop. Only two tons, you've got two tons left. Oh, it's because we've got, we've, we've got too much, we've got too much quarried stone. Oh, that's a problem. That is a problem. All right, so it turns out that it turns out that we actually can't input more than more than that specific amount over the course of a day. But as soon as the day starts, we're completely fine. Now, I thought about this. I thought about this, and this might be something that we could think about rectifying. But the problem is, is that the gravel processing plant doesn't actually have any conveyor inputs. It only has conveyor outputs. So that is, that is a, that is a, 
that puts us in a little bit of a pickle. We're gonna have to think about what we, uh, what we, how we deal with that. Uh, we can build factory connections, but I don't think that, I don't think that there's any factory connections that are available between, between this factory here, and then other factories, i.e., an aggregate loading thing, for example. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have to think about how we're gonna deal with this, because I don't really want my trucks just driving up and down only unloading 10 tons and then you know what as long as they deliver within the work day it's fine because the quarried stone can be processed but the fact that that's happening is very very irritating indeed all right we're gonna have to think about how we deal with this but we're gonna deal with this in the next episode we also need to make sure that we get coal in the next episode because Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we want to try and make ourselves a little bit of cement over here, which is kind of nice. Anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I'll see you next time. Bye.